Well, it's our next to last travel day, and we are running into some logistical issues, mm -hmm. which we knew we probably would at some point. I mean, it's because there's so many moving parts in this process to coming off the road, yeah. and this is the first speed bump. Mm -hmm. And so we own the truck, and Florida is a digital title state. So when you go to sell your vehicle, you have to have it transferred to a paper title and mailed to you, which yeah. you can do online, which I did. It has sent to our escapees. And we had our mail forwarded to your parents because they're going to be there for Harper's birthday. So we just get all that mail uh -huh. and have them bring it to Harper's birthday. And everything's good, right? Right. No. <laughs> Not right. Somewhere on your parents' end, either the either the post office, the main post office or the mailman or something saw our name. And refuses to deliver this mail. <laughs> and returned it. Well, it got returned. And then so we just realized it over the weekend that we're like, oh, my God, we can't sell the truck without this title. Yeah. We realized over the weekend, we called this morning, it's just Monday morning. As soon as the office opened at escapees, well, by the time we called, all of our mails bundled back up and already sent back out for delivery re trying to, to deliver. your parents. <laughs> so, so stupid. We don't have the title. And then we're trying to work out logistics of buying this car. Because we are Florida residents, have insurance in Florida, have to get that switched to Alabama. But we don't own the home yet. We don't yet, own the home so we yet. have no mail going to we the home We have no proof yet. of residency. So we're trying to get Just this. Just our purchase agreement. Oh. It's a lot. It's a lot to maneuver. And they're delivering the car to us, which is going to a different address than yeah, it's all what very, it's going to be registered to. So it's confusing people. So on all that, as we're as we're probably traveling today, we're going to be talking to multiple people, trying to work multiple things while we're traveling down the road. We got about a three hour trip. We're going from here in Knoxville down to Fort Payne, Alabama, mm -hmm. middle of nowhere, right off fifty nine. That's but it's, of Alabama. It's just an overnighter. So we'll um, show you what it looks like when we get there. But it's just overnight, and then we will travel again tomorrow. And be done. And be done forever. <sighs> Well, we made it. Second to last travel day is complete. We we're at a place called Wills Creek. I think it's called Wills Creek Campground in Fort Payne, Alabama. Not a bad place. Uh, we got some nice level flat gravel sites. And as you can see, it's not very busy. They got like this rubber stuff in between instead of grass. It's like the stuff that they put on the playgrounds for the kids if they fall off the thing and they just bounce off of it instead of hitting the hard ground. But um, anyway, we're on the end here, so easy out tomorrow morning. The thing, though, on our, on our GPS, though, said that uh, there was a weight restriction coming in here, but there really wasn't. So I called and made sure that there, there wasn't, and so we got in here fine. Um, but apparently this place just sold to, like, a corporate company. Or something there's some more spots over there those are like permanent spots over there but uh because when i checked in he was like i mean he must have booked a while back and i was like yeah it's been a while and he goes because we booked and it was 45 dollars a night oh and by the way um they don't use this site so we won't have any neighbors here tonight so this is just our area right here we did unhook because we're going to go to dinner but um anyway he said yeah um we got bought by a corporation and now we're 65 dollars a night so there's another reason that is a bonus for getting off the road because the sites are just getting so expensive. $65 a night. I mean, I remember when we first started out, we could find spots for, you know, $20, $25, $30 a night at privately owned campgrounds. Now we're lucky to get a campsite for $20, $25 at a Corps of Engineer or a, or a state park or something like that. But these privately owned campgrounds, they know that the demand is high. And I don't know why he put this guy right next to us. They're just wide open. He could have put him out there and give us a little more area there. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's just getting super, super stupid expensive to do this lifestyle. And uh, even if you do a weekly or a monthly rate, it's not much better. Let's go inside and see what's going on in here. What's going on in here? Oh, it feels a lot better in here than it does out there. Yeah. It's hot out there, man. There's a breeze going, but it's a hot breeze. It's like the devil breathing on the back of your neck. Yeah. <sighs> but it wasn't a bad travel day. No, it was we decent. We got bounced around a little bit around Chattanooga. There was some construction, and some of the seams were a little bouncy, oh. but it didn't 
didn't jack anything up. No. So that's good. Well, we got about four hours tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Four hours and five minutes according to the GPS. Scout's got a good view of the back back here. Hi, buddy. One more travel day, buddy. That's it. One more. <laughs> it's crazy, right? One yeah. more? Yeah, it's crazy. Does it feel real? We're already in Alabama. This is our last state. Yeah. And uh, we got some of, this, some of the stuff worked out for the car. Yeah. Got the insurance switch, we got that over, so they're going to use that as proof of insurance. So we got out of the catch 22, yeah. And so we should be getting that paperwork sent over to us in the next couple of days mm -hmm. to our daughter's house. We'll fill that out, we'll send that back, and then we should get the car delivered probably next week sometime. Yeah, awesome! I can't wait. I know. And the videos are coming out tonight the truck and the RV being for sale hopefully as you're watching this they're already sold <laughs> yes I hope so because if not we're in bad shape <laughs> uh, but we'll be staying in there at a campground we booked a month and I'm hoping everything sells before we have to renew our campsite out yeah. there yeah hopefully. and uh, hopefully the roads are good to us tomorrow yes. one more again oh. I'm hungry right now yeah so let's go eat okay. <laughs> I want a steak Man, eat steak. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last travel day ever. Like ever. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? I am ready to end this. Yeah? Yes. Plus, it's going to be a long travel day today. Yeah. For us, anyway. Yeah. So, ready for at least today to be over. Yeah. I'm, <clears throat> I'm getting more and more ready to be stationary yeah mentally yeah preparing for that mm -hmm. and i it's crazy because when we made the decision to do this i don't really i was thinking back about it last night and i was like who, who decided to do this i think it was more my idea at first yeah just because i just here's how i felt so when we had left Harper the first time because we were there for her birth we were there for a couple months and we left yeah. to me that felt like abandonment well not <laughs> it felt like I was leaving on a, like the same feeling I when I was leaving on a deployment when I was leaving you uh, and L Lauren yeah years and years ago and I didn't like that feeling at all because <laughs> that yeah. sucks and then she came down to visit in Florida again and just for like a day yeah and then when she left again, I felt that feeling again. And I'm like, okay, I don't have to feel this. Keep doing that. <laughs> I don't have to keep doing this. I could choose to not do this. So that feeling of, um, that bad feeling yeah. is stronger than the good feelings of traveling and yeah. all the adventures and stuff. So yeah, that's, that's what kind of drove me to it. Yeah. You were like a little hesitant at first. Well, yeah. Not because I didn't want to be around, but I just didn't think that this would stop so quickly. Yeah. But since we, since we, you know, talked about it and started looking at houses and yeah. all that stuff, and then we finally realized that the, you know, funding wise, we're not going to be able to have the best of both worlds. It kind of yeah. sank in and we were like, okay, so now we're both very, I feel like we're both very comfortable with the decision yeah. and happy with I'm it. I'm already ready for be done helping Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. It makes probably no sense, but like I, I, she's overwhelmed right now. Well, they just moved into a new house. They have boxes and stuff everywhere. She has she doctor's appointments and vet yeah. appointments and. Well, and she had to quit her job because yeah. they moved so far away, and she needs to find a new job, but she can't yeah. until other things are squared away. Yeah. So we need to be there, help making all this stuff happen for her and faster. And yeah. And their house is a bit of a fixer-upper, so we help out with some of that yeah. stuff. Yeah, so. and so I'm like, I'm ready to get that painful part <laughs> over. <laughs> well, then not only that, we got so to start working. she go back working. to work and just yeah. enjoy. Well, then we got to start working on our own stuff, our own house, our own yeah. stuff. Yeah, in a month. So a lot happening all at the same time. Yeah. But today's the last, last travel day ever. Last one. All right, let's get on the road. Okay. Scout? <laughs> Scout, last travel day, buddy. It's the last one, man. What do you think? 
He's like, I'm ready for this shit to be over with, too. <laughs> You'll like it. You'll have fun. Yeah, I think Scout's going to adapt pretty well. You have more space to run. To a stationary life. Yeah. Not to move all the time. Yeah. And we'll take him outside and from time to time. Have his own yard. We'll go for walks in the neighborhood. You know, normal lizard stuff. Yeah, we have a normal <laughs> lizard life. I want to be a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we goes. The last time. There he goes. Ready, buddy? <laughs> Slow so excited. So this is my exciting face. Yeah. Before we move out on travel day, I always do one final walk around. The one final walk around before we travel, it just so happens that this one final walk around is the final walk around. So I'm going to turn this off so that I can uh, focus on that, but. Uh, I just try to share all the moments, all the emotions, all the lasts that we're going through right now. Um, last walk around before the last travel day. We made it. Woo! <laughs> last travel day in the books, man. Yep. That's the last time we will move this bad boy. Yep. And uh, we have a lot of stuff to do today. Yeah. Even though we just got here, it's the afternoon, so not going to show you our spot yet. That'll be in the next video. <laughs> and we got a car coming and we got title coming and we got everything for sale and lots coming up so yeah stick around for that it's a busy week already we'll show you all that stuff all coming chaos. up in the next videos <laughs> <laughs> hey stick around for a few seconds we're going to honor a fallen <laughs> hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans everything you need to know right down in the description yes appreciate you watching see you next time bye, bye.